Hey guys, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're going to be fixing a toilet flange with the Danco flange fixer. So stay tuned and we will show you how we get this done. Hey folks, if you like our content, please subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification so that you will be informed when we post videos. Also, check the description. A lot of times we put the links down below for some of the products or tools that we're using in the video and that really helps support this channel. Thank you. Now let's get on with the project. Okay, folks, like I said, we're using the Danco flange fixer kit here, as you see in the picture, and we've already taken it out of the box. We wanted to see what it looked like. Um, it does not come with a wax ring, okay? Just to let you know, you will need a wax ring to install this, and this is everything that's in the box right here. So we'll lay that aside, and it looks like we have some nuts and washers and some screws here, okay? So let's take a look at this thing right quick. Uh, we are replacing a toilet here, as you may have guessed, and our flange is, um, one of the ears has actually got a break on it, okay? And this was one type that I've never used this one before, but I thought it'd be pretty cool. Because actually the way you're supposed to use it, I'm gonna kind of show you here right quick, and we'll go in and actually install this thing for real, is that you take your wax ring and you go ahead and place that uh, into your flange, okay? And then what we're gonna do is, notice it says back right here, and let's just pretend like the back of the wall is back here. So we're actually gonna place this into here, and you got a couple places where you can screw it to the flange, and you can also screw it to the floor as well, okay? And then after that, nothing is required to seal your toilet here, okay? You got studs here already in place, and you just sit the toilet right down on this uh, double-lipped uh, seal right here. As you can see, this lip right here will go around the toilet, and I'm gonna show you that here in just a second. And that is supposed to make your seal, guys. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at that toilet over here, and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so we're over here at our toilet, and we got it flipped upside down, okay? So the back of the toilet is right here on this side, and this is the back of our uh, bracket here. So like when we go to sit this thing in place, this will be bolted down secure to the floor. And when we sit it down, as you can see inside here, that will bring that camera, that other lip just went right around the uh, porcelain part of the um, toilet, okay? So that will actually make the seal. This actually goes down inside the uh, uh, flange and hopefully this thing will not leak. Okay, that's what we're hoping for because it looks like it's gonna be pretty simple Once we get all this set up walk in there and just sit it right down on top of the studs and you're good to go Okay, as you notice guys we had a softball tucked inside a plastic bag here just to keep uh, ventilation uh, smells from the sewer from coming up into the room and also the kit comes with a little um, uh, block off here as well to where you could keep debris or the gas from coming up as well So we'll probably put that in place here, too now step one as you notice our ring you can't really tell But our flange over here does have a break in it and you can see this one here as well I think it was broken all the way to the corner. So we had to do something here um, I've used a different type of flange repair kit before uh, This is the first time using this one. So Hopefully this is going to work. And guys, we will have a um, link to this exact item uh, down in the description. Uh, this is for sale on Amazon as well. Same price as at the big box store. So you can get one of these from Amazon as well. And we'll have a link for you. So they recommend putting a wax ring in place here. Um, although our flange does stick out very far, okay? And I could probably, most of this is probably going to squeeze out, okay? But we're going to do it anyway. And I thought about cleaning it really good and putting some silicone over it. But then I got to thinking, well, if I ever had to take it apart, silicone would be a heck of a lot easier, harder to get loose than this here. Um, so remember, we want, to, I'm just going to put this so I don't have to smell the smells here for a little bit. And uh, we're going to shove it down. 
This is the back, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and just go right in here and start pushing straight down. It's definitely going to squeeze out quite a bit, I do believe. And I hope I'm even able to, strong enough to squeeze this out. I think I am. It's just we're gonna have to really put some weight on here. So here in just a moment, I will probably go ahead and start these screws. All right, there we go guys. This is working pretty good. Going right down into that wood. It's helping to ooze that um, um, wax seal on out. All right. Guys, this is working great. Okay, folks. Hey, we got this thing down like I want it. It looks like it's pulled down pretty good. I knew it wasn't, the ears weren't going to go quite all the way to the floor, but I had already knew that went from uh, pre-checking it earlier. But as you can see, the... Um, the wax ring stuff is really gooped out of there, which I figured it would. And uh, we're going to go grab the toilet and set this thing in place. Okay, we are in the bathroom with the base part of the uh, toilet. And this is the Glacier Bay toilet here that we got at uh, Home Depot. And um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this yellow piece out of the way. The little vent here. Okay. And as you can see, our little um piece of rubber here looked like it kind of moved a little i don't know if it's from all of the um um what you call it the uh, wax ring that kind of pumped underneath here i think that's probably what did it so i am moving it making sure it's nice and straight here going down into the hole here okay making sure there's no uh wax grease here that could actually interfere with this upper seal okay going in here all right so stay tuned and we're getting ready to set this thing in place all right folks before i put this in place the instructions don't really call for this but just my being a mechanic all these years and knowing the benefits of lubrication i'm gonna take a little bit of just hand soap okay definitely don't want to use anything like grease or anything that could deteriorate rubber and petroleum product but just a little bit of soft soap hand soap i'm gonna put it on that uh, rubber lip before i set this in place so uh daniel i guess just try to film this the best you can i'm gonna lift up and shove her in place if i can i'm on guys i am on i am in position and that feels nice and sturdy there. It doesn't feel like it's going to rock or anything. So we are getting ready to bolt this thing down. So uh, bring the camera back up here. I'll show you what we're going to do. We went ahead and got the two pieces of hardware out of the um, uh, box of the Glacier Bay here. So on each side, we're going to put the washer, it tells you right here, this side up. So we're going to put that side up. We're going to put a washer and then we're going to take this nut and tighten it down by hand making sure not to over tighten it so we don't crack the porcelain toilet okay so i'm going to reach down here and get this done on both sides and then we'll call this a video okay guys i am tightening everything down i got a little short 3 8 ratchet here 11 millimeter socket or 7 16 will work and i am just easing it down not really torquing it a whole lot we don't want to crack the toilet okay so just ease it down you don't have to go crazy on it and i'm just going back each side 
kind of going evenly. Grab a hold of the toilet and it feels pretty stable there. Maybe I can go down a little bit more if I can. So we'll try that. Oh yeah, that feels good right there. Feels like that's as tight as we really want to go. Let's go back on this side. And that feels good too. Okay, so we're gonna stop right there, guys. Let's go back out to the shop and talk about this thing a minute. Okay, guys, here's my final thoughts on the Danco flange fixer. Yep, that's what it's called, flange fixer, right here, guys. I actually, I actually like this product, okay? Our flange wasn't broken as bad as some flanges could be, but it still worked great on ours because we definitely had a problem with ours. And the big thing I like about it is the fact that the wax ring went below the flange repair, okay? And all I had to do was sit my toilet on, 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 on top of that, and that special little lip is going to seal, okay? So if I ever have to take the toilet off, it's gonna be uh, easy to pull off, won't have to do any cleaning on the bottom of it, and you know, whatever. So anyway, I like that part about it. It's, it's definitely easy, it makes the job easier. Um, you don't have to fool with trying to hold up these little things, okay? So this is what comes with a new wax ring, and you have them locked in there, and they can kind of move around a little bit, and you gotta hold them to where, when you set your toilet in place, you don't knock one over or knock it out of place. Those bolts are actually welded to that flange, so that made it a lot easier upon installation. So that's some pluses that I like about it, okay? The price on it is $22. So do know that you are going to have to have another $22 along with whatever you uh, pay for your toilet or whatever, what, what have you. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you, hopefully you got something out of it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care.